All right, so um, I said before it's Saturday, and uh, you know, this is the first Saturday that I don't have my daughter, and I don't have a lot of things to do. It's kind of a leisure Saturday. Those don't come by too often, uh, but um, I am not prepared for the next meal. My meal should be prepared. Shame on me. Uh, so I have to prepare this meal and uh, I figure I'd get it going now and then um, I'll uh, weigh myself and then uh, you can see the end product. This meal is uh, three quarters of a, I'm sorry, a quarter cup of uh, brown rice grits or uh, yeah, brown rice grits or uh, they're also called like brown rice cereal. Um, you know, it's uh, it's kind of like cream of rice but made with brown rice. So it, I ran out of it and my diet changes tomorrow. So my thoughts were to uh, not have to go to the store. I'm going to do something that's even um, even more rich in protein and lower in even lower in carbs, which is buckwheat. Now it's not in my diet, but it's it's me being even more hardcore and having to adapt because I failed to plan. So you'll have that. And uh, this is I got at Whole Foods from the bulk area. It's just you can see, it's just uh, buckwheat. There's no sugar in it. You know you hear of uh, buckwheat and buckwheat pancakes and all this, but I trust me, this is this is nothing like that. This will be pretty bland, and um, it will it will not taste like anything you've probably eaten uh, that contains buckwheat. So I'm doing uh, about a third cup of a uh, buckwheat. Just not a lot. Just a little more. And that's it. So I'm gonna. Um, Boil it. I like to use um, coconut oil for everything, so um, it just everything tastes a little better. That's a few calories, but um, just add the coconut oil in there, and um, as you can see, I got a big pan over here, extra organic, extra virgin coconut oil. So, so this this is going. I'm gonna also add. Anytime I have like carbs, especially in the morning, I like to add cinnamon. Again, no extra calories or anything like that. But cinnamon is great for um, for um, maintaining blood sugar levels by um, helping. Uh, insulin receptor sites. So uh, anyway, so this will take uh, I don't know 15 minutes. Buckwheat uh, takes a little bit to cook. Um, I'm kind of tired, you know, after posing, all the adrenaline and coming down from that. So um, I just can't wait for this to get done. I've got some. Uh, the rest of this meal, by the way, is is uh, is going to be some. Um, I've got buffalo meat here, so I get four ounces. And I got egg whites in here, that's three ounces. So that'll be ready to go for when my buckwheat is ready. So uh, anyway, like I said, this is, uh, I normally wouldn't do this, but I ran out of the buckwheat, uh, I'm sorry, the brown rice grits or the rice cereal, brown rice cereal, um, yesterday. And I miscalculated, I thought I had bought enough to get me to the end of my diet, but I didn't. So, kind of cheap and don't feel like going to the grocery store just to get that when I have to go again tomorrow to buy all different food. I get a feeling he's not going to keep me on the, on the rice cereal. Um, so, there's no sense in buying a whole box of it when I'm not going to use it for several weeks. 
So here's where the planning comes in, just knowing how much to buy so I'm not left with a bunch of food that I'm not, that's just sitting there. So, you know, this is part of the whole thing of doing this on a budget. You know, it's not like I have unlimited funds, so uh, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm very careful in, uh, in uh, how I spend my money, especially when it relates to the show, because let me tell you, uh, that's one of the biggest pitfalls uh, when competing. And I, I'm guilt, I was guilty of it for many years, where you just, you know, this becomes like your God, this becomes, uh, you know, everything, and you, the money just starts going and going and going, and, and it can get out of hand. So now, you know, I'm a little more mature. I know, okay, you know, this isn't the end of the world. You know, this show is not what, you know, I necessarily live for completely. It's a big part, but it's, you know, it's especially when you're getting ready for a show, but there are limits. And, uh, you know, how much money you spend on it, how much money you spend on your supplements, that, you know, you should think of that before and stick to that budget. Um, you know, and make do. Make do with uh, what you have. You know, there's a time I mainly eat uh, organic foods. Um, I eat a lot of... Uh, Free range chicken, all the chicken I buy is organic, free range. Uh, free range uh, eggs, uh, if it's meat, it's usually grass fed. Uh, fish, wild caught. So I'm spending a little more, but there was a long time when I, I couldn't do that. You know, I'd go to Walmart and get uh, whatever meat was on sale. Uh, chicken, you know, I remember we tried getting some deals on it for $1.99 a pound. You know, it was probably laden with uh, hormones and all of that. But hey, that's, you know, that was uh, living within uh, my means then. Uh, but, um, you know, in some other areas I splurge, like supplements. So now I kind of have a budget, I know how much I'm gonna spend, and I don't, you know, I don't go over that uh, much at all. So uh, just kind of a little advice for you, you know, you, you people out there that are thinking about doing this or are doing it, you know, set limitations for yourself, okay? This is an awesome, very noble thing to do. You know, it's a great practice and discipline and everything. Don't let it become, don't let it own you. Don't let it become your God. It's, it, give it its rightful place, all right? So let's uh, go uh, get weighed in here just to uh, show you. Like I said, I, I weighed myself early this morning and um, I was 225. I've drank some water, so I'm, I might be 226, you know, I had one meal after that, my first meal, this is my second meal, so I might be 226, we'll see, but um, let's uh, go into, do this every single morning. By the way, this scale has been with me since uh, I started competing in, well, since uh, like 2005. So I've been using it for six years. Uh, it's pretty reliable. So it's, like I said, about 226.8. So I've gained uh, about a pound and a half, a little less than a pound and a half. I was like 225 point something. So you guys saw it last week uh, with clothes. I think it was 233, 234. Then uh, to figure the clothes added a couple pounds, roughly around 230. So yeah, it's about a five point uh, five uh, pound drop uh, in in about a week. So um, I'll take it. Uh, probably lost some 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 fullness because of it but again that's the that's the name of the game at this stage and in, in the game <laughs>